Coming up tonight on 13 News Update, a dramatic rescue tonight at a South Toledo fire, but some neighbors say the firefighters could have gotten there earlier. And UAW workers have a tentative contract tonight, but some workers remain on the picket lines. Good evening, I'm Jerry Anderson. Janine Lauber's off tonight. Stan Stajak says there's a chance of some Sunday sprinkles, and John Gillespie has all the scores and highlights for this football Friday. 13 News Update is next at 11 o'clock. The area's most comprehensive news coverage continues. This is 13 News Update. With Jerry Anderson, Janine Lover, meteorologist Stan Stachak, and John Gillespie, sports. Good evening, everyone. Neighbors entered a burning home on Waverly Avenue in South Toledo tonight to pull a woman out of that dwelling. The fire started in the home of Angela Sparks at 1005 Waverly just before 8 o'clock tonight. The house was quickly engulfed in flames when a neighbor, Carl Thornburg, went inside to rescue Sparks, who was later taken to Toledo Hospital. Did you enter the burning house in or what? Yeah. Just kept yelling. That's all. Hoping somebody would turn up. Thornburg complained with other neighbors that it took firemen too long to respond to the fire call. Reaction to yesterday's U.S. Embassy bombing in Lebanon is falling along party lines tonight. Walter Mondale is stopping short of blaming President Reagan for the attack, but he says the American people must be given answers to what he terms some very basic questions. And it's one thing to talk about terrorist attacks on the other side of the world, but tonight the FBI says there's a terrorist threat right here in the U.S. We have increased our security measures based on information which we received indicating a possible terrorist threat to Northern California installations. Despite the precautions, the FBI says it's discounting the seriousness of the threat. Well, there are no losers in the settlement between General Motors and the United Auto Workers. At least that's what the two sides are saying tonight. UAW President Owen Bieber says he likes the job security measures contained in the tentative pact. Stan Stachak says you may see some rain this weekend. His forecast is coming up. Also, we'll have an update on a health scare in East Toledo. The city says case closed, but some East Toledoans aren't so sure. Now let's go to Frank Yahuli and the TV 13 scoreboard. Frank. Thank you, John. Good evening, football fans. Another very busy Friday night for the area's high school football teams. Plenty of action around northwestern Ohio and southeastern Michigan. Let's get to the 13-strong scoreboards. Have a good evening. We'll see you back here Monday.